fellow collectors, I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art and I'm excited today because guess what rolled in? The rare original owner Golden Age collection. Very hard to come by. So what we got here is some very nice, I mean th these are like mid-grade, we got some Hero and Blue Bolt, Black Cat, Dover Boys. I mean, you know, kind of obscure some of it, but then we got some Jungle. Oh, nice Jungle, Jungle. And we got Fire Hair. Oh, she's so cool. I think Frazetta did a little bit of Fire Hair. Fire Hair. And all these books are meant, I, they're holding grade. They're not, they're not destroyed. Here's a couple Patsy Walkers, number 17 and 22. That's Marvel Golden Age, Marvel Comic. And then I like these, and these are very popular with kind of guys that are getting older, jaded collectors that, you know, that have the hero stuff, been there, done that with the hero stuff. And uh, they have, you know, good girl stuff. So the good girl candy. And then we got some, Look at that, the blue bolt. Oh my goodness. We got a hooded monster going over there. There's a really nice doll man, nice air boy, foremost boys, and then some boy comics. And then let's let's stay with stick with the boys. Boy commandos, number number 35 and 15. Uh, definitely Simon and Kirby cover that one. Crazy Quilt. Quilt Man, is that, did that guy stick around in the DCU? I think he did. Uh, look at that, Captain Midnight. It's just like examples, but look at this. Look at this row, guys. Crack Comics. A young Men. Atlas. Oh, look at this. Fighting Yank with a KKK cover and a Fighting Yank and Damsel in Distress. They even threw in a snake. But that is killer. A Brick Bradford uh, classic robot cover. And this is, this is real. I just tried to look this up, I can't. There's no census on this book at all. And then anytime you're buying a Golden Age collection and there's some atlases in there, there's never a yellow claw in there. Never. Just never. I, I don't remember the last time I got a yellow claw on a deal. Now, I like these. They're Dick Coles. But, you know, they're, you're like, who? Well, these are all L.B. Cole covers. All L.B. Cole covers. I don't even know who Dick Cole is, but they're L.B. Cole. And uh, here's a true crime book, Lucky Luciano. Very important figure in the uh, organized crime history of America. And, uh, and I got one cool pre-code horror book and then this Jack Armstrong. What's Jack Armstrong from? Oh. No, but these guys, where are my golden age gurus and, and JDs right now for the I got to come on next week and just show these on the Golden Age Gurus. Oh my God, just these three right here. Uh, let's, make a, let's make a hit parade for these. And I'm not even showing you the other stuff, but these six books, I mean, these are, these are wonderful. And they're all holding grade. They're all basically gradable for Golden Age. This will probably get a 4.0, but this might have a shot at like a seven. This too is like seven, seven. Wow, I'm excited. Uh, tonight, the dueling dealers of comic art. Yeah, I, I take off this comic book dealer hat and put on my art dealer hat. Who else can do it with such dexterity and a plum? No one. Okay. So, I like doing the tease on the dueling dealers of comic art with 
big pieces of art. Look at this. It's a nice big DC Girls piece. And it's a poster size art. And then this is some Golden Age Good Girl art. Look at that. In the Dawn Flower, oops, in the Dawn Flowers. Uh, scheme of things. Uh, I need to actually control this a little better. All right, now we got it. So, can't show the, oh well. This is a page that I paid $2,000 for. It's another Dylan Justice League uh, two panel page with some really cool stuff going on from the Heroes of Tomorrow, JSA. You know, got some great content. There's my list, my list, my schedule for tonight. My 15 round bout with the Ramada man. All right, there's a, did we leave this one in? All right, wait a minute. The DC Girl posters, okay. Oh, this is really nice. This is like, look at that. This whole, that's a Batman splash. It's got all these uh, iconic evil figures, the devil, Hitler, Caesar. I don't know, was, was he that evil, Caesar? I never knew that. We got Essod art. I'm gonna push out a couple pieces of my, the greatest artist in the world, Essod Rabich. Gonna push out a couple pieces of his stuff. And for the, uh, and they're gonna be in the, uh, in the lower priced tier. So, well, I'm selling big covers of his, getting between eight, nine, ten thousand for those covers. So, you know, his career is on fire, and we're lucky to have him. And we are another guy that I rep and who's a friend of the show and the business, Riley Brown. Got a couple really nice covers of his, Riley Brown. One is TV movie related and the other is uh, Deadpool related and has Spider-Man. Spider-Man, and it's fun to look at. It's a trifold cover. All right, so then we got, then we got, then we got, then we got, all we owe, we owe her. Is that what those guys are saying in Wizard of Oz, the guards? Not sure. All right, so got a Mike McCone. Look at that color piece. Really nice comic art style. Mike McCone, RB, yep. And McCone, Archie. Ooh, where's that? Where's that Archie thing? Where's that Archie thing? Oh, there it is. Got a really, uh, really nice large art Archie cover. It's got Archie, Betty, and Veronica, and a lot of sports figures on it. So it's got crossover appeal in that respect. I'm gonna be showing some, uh, oh, look at this. Twice up DC art by Kurt Schaffenberger. Oh, TZ Tees, TZ Tees. And then, ooh, oh, okay, one, no, that's not it. I think I, I think I canceled that one. Oh, another Assad piece. Ooh, with gore on it. All right, oh, don't look. You must tune in. Oh, Mike Mayhew. Mike Mayhew is a predominant artist and a cover artist for Marvel. And we have a fully rendered Doctor Doom cover. And I have another, another uh, Master Kung Fu page by Zek to put out. And I have some covers, two covers, and a complete book by Umberto Ramos because I'm so rich with, uh, I got a lot of Umberto Ramos stuff because I happen to enjoy his art very much. I got a Spider-Man cover, got a pinup, and then I got an entire book of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. featuring Camilla Khan, Camilla Khan. So that is way cool. And this, 
is something I drove four hours for. Drove four hours for. Uh, nice story with this is uh, Gene Cohen was friends with this uh, uh, beautiful young woman of 81 years old, and he had given her a couple pieces. And uh, you can't look. And I'm gonna debut these on the show tonight. Very debutable, debut, debut, debutable, debutable material in which we can garner some excitement and fun on the dueling dealers of comic art. <clears throat> okay. Who thought up that name? I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. Ooh, I should copyright. <laughs> All right, so that's going in the case. Yep, yep. Those are going in the case. I need a nice thing for this. I need a nice thing for that. Oh, large DC art. Hard, good large DC art is hard to find. This one, this one, this one. And we're gonna have five pieces of guys, the two guys I rep. I'm gonna push those guys out there a little bit tonight. And then a really nice Batman page, really nice JLA page. Uh, I tried to do an old fashioned -y page, like, uh, you know, but it's good girl art. And then a bunch of uh, superhero girls and good girl, big stuff, big stuff. Then I might even have to roll it to send it. No, I, nobody likes getting rolled stuff. Except if you like rolling your own. Uh, but this is this is the row I'm excited about. Oh, speaking of rolling your own, some crack comics, and then young men. But look, this is a solid black cover, and it's holding grade. Yellow claw, and then this fighting yank. Holy canine excrement, Batman. Never had this book before. Never had this book before. And I don't know how many people have ever had this book before. It's super racist cover. And I just, I guess it's, I gotta, I gotta look at it and uh, really see what the deal is with that one. Uh, probably gonna have to grade these and get them all, get them all tightened up. So that's exciting. And yesterday I bought two Marvel number ones and uh, the actual um, Instagram didn't go out, but I'm gonna send those out too. Oh, well, it went out on the regular thing, right? Right? Yeah. Okay, so went out on the regular uh, YouTube and Facebook and I'm gonna send it out on the, on, the, on the Instagram too. So that's what's going on tonight. Nine o'clock, guys. The Dueling Dealers of Comic Art! And I've already put out more energy than all the other guys in this business combined ever in streaming video. In just one session. <laughs> all right, so nine o'clock Eastern, Dueling Dealers of Comic Book Art on Comic Art Live with Bill Cox and the Ramada Man. We're looking forward to it. And we hope to try to break our record we set last week, but I don't know. That was, that's pretty tough. That might be pretty tough, but we're going to try. So you keep calm, you keep collecting, tune in tonight. We're going to have some fun. And I'm Anthony with Anthony's Comic Book Art. Thank you.